Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. This is the topic of discrete Fourier transform for ESE 563 digital signal processing. At the end of this topic, the students should be able to describe the differences between discrete time Fourier transform DTFT, discrete Fourier transform DFT, and discrete Fourier series DFS. The next one is to apply discrete time Fourier transform DTFT and discrete Fourier transform DFT for spectral estimation of given discrete time signals. The slides used in this video are based on the monograph by Dr. Hazli Hashim. Frequency analysis of discrete time signals is usually and most conveniently performed on a digital signal processor which may be a general purpose digital computer or specially designed digital hardware. To perform frequency analysis on a discrete time signal XN, we convert the time domain sequence to an equivalent frequency domain representation. A discrete Fourier transform DFT is simply a name given to the Fourier transform when it is applied to discrete rather than a continuous signal. The table demonstrates the classification of Fourier transform or series where this is an example of periodic signal where this is a periodic signal. Periodic, a periodic. The first one is the continuous Fourier series CFS takes periodic continuous time signal and produce a set of a periodic discrete spectrum. The second one is the continuous Fourier transform CFT takes a periodic continuous time signal and produce an a periodic continuous spectrum. The third one is the discrete Fourier series DFS takes periodic discrete time signal and produce periodic discrete spectrum. The fourth one is the discrete time Fourier transform DTFT takes a periodic discrete time signal and produce a periodic continuous spectrum. If the sample is being sampled, then it is known as a discrete Fourier transform DFT which converts a periodic discrete time signal into a periodic discrete spectrum. So by now, you should differentiate the definition of DTFT DFT and DFS. So from this elaboration, pay attention to the characteristic of input signal and the form of output that each transformation method produce for DTFT from a periodic discrete time signal to a periodic continuous spectrum. For DFT from a predict discrete time signal into a predict discrete spectrum and for DFS from predict discrete time signal to predict discrete spectrum. What is the difference between DTFT and DFT? In DTFT, your discrete a predict time domain signal is transformed into continuous predict frequency domain signal. For example, image 1 is a continuous continuous a predict time domain signal. This is a periodic time domain signal. So from image 1, it has been sampled to image 2. So sampling the signal in image 1 gives you the signal in image 2 which is a discrete a periodic time domain signal. From image 2, we apply DTFT and produce image 3. So DTFT of the signal in image 2 
is given by image tree. So from image tree, we apply the DFT and produce image 4. So DFT of the signal in image 3 is given by image 4.